Another attack here in France coming, of course, just after these attacks in, in Germany over the weekend, of course. How can governments respond? Well, first of all, action speaks louder than meetings and words. Um, and this is very tragic, tragic uh, because it is, this particular event um, is a kind of symbolic event um, uh, in a way. And it's, there's, there's an, uh, a cultural uh, civil risk uh, in, in this uh, whole development, which I think the government has to pay serious attention to. You know, there's a few things they could really do in this issue, and this is to look at how is the other measures taken? For example, uh, cutting the funding of ISIL, cutting the funding of terrorist organizations. And there's a lot of things they could do to, to make this a lot better. Those are kind of longer term solutions, aren't there? I mean, are there things that they can do in the short term? I mean, we've already heard, of course, France has extended its uh, state of emergency uh, until around Christmas time. But I mean, uh, is there more actually on the ground that you can do? Yes, absolutely. I think, um, first of all, it's very important that the public remains calm in this situation. Uh, and at the same time, that the officials remain calm. They, they, they intend to, to uh, put a front uh, of nervousness ahead. Um, uh, and that's a very serious situation. What they can do on the ground is that they can exploit the possibility of extending the police services as well as security services, but more importantly, the intelligence services on the ground has to be extended. And that is one of the things. Now, in this case, as many of the others, there's not a lack of intelligence, there's a lack of action. And, and that is really where the problem lies. And I know you've spoken a lot in the past about a lack of coordination between different countries. I mean, this time with this individual, it does appear that maybe it's worked much better. I mean, he tried to get to Syria twice. He was once turned back in Germany, once on the Turkish border. Is that a positive sign? No, absolutely. Uh, in, in a way, in a way, yes. In a way, no. Um, you know, it, it goes both ways. Um, yes, were, were, were they vigilant to, to discover that at the, uh, the border? Yes, to a certain extent. But the point is, um, what was the action? What actions did they take after that? Was the actions uh, sufficient to make sure that this individual would not go out there and commit the horrible crime he did? Um, and, and ultimately, these actions speak very loud. And uh, if they fail in the correct actions, then we will see many, many more of these events happening.